Hello everybody. This is a quick overview of what you'll be needing to do in the Getting Started lab that's coming up as your one of your first lab assignments. And you're going to be introduced to the V-Labs at Penn State University, which is a great, great vehicle. You don't have to install anything on your PC. All you need is a web browser. Uh, and actually, even then, you don't even that, need to have that running. But you're going to follow the directions in the lab assignment, which will then give you access to the V-Labs where you will virtually use a uh, software client tool called Microsoft SQL Server uh, Management Studio. And when you open it up, it'll look a lot like this. Now, um, I will tell you right now that over here on the left-hand side, this Object Explorer, yours is going to look slightly different. Uh, these are a series of databases that I currently have access to that the class cannot see. And um, what the assignment starts to have you do in step nine is click on New Query. So when you get to the new query window here, this is where you're actually going to type in your SQL commands. You're going to get a chance here to try out your first SQL commands. And for me, I'm going to go ahead and look over here on the, the left-hand side of the Object Explorer. I'm going, to, I'm going to write a query that's going to um, retrieve some data from a database called IST210 Vridge Gallery. Once again, you cannot see this database. This is something that um, I currently only have access to. And then when I uh, expand that plus next to the database, I start to see that the database is comprised of some folders, if you will. But in particular, there's an area called tables. And what this allows us to do is see what the actual table names are. Now, when I'm looking at my data in the Object Explorer, I see that since I created these objects, these tables, um, there's a, a qualifier set that says DBO. DBO stands for database owner. So whenever you're trying to uh, retrieve data from another user's objects, you want to make sure that you qualify them with the name dot object name, or in this case, table name. So in the lab, the Getting Started lab, this is your first time writing some SQL, and I'm going to write some basic SQL that's very similar to what you have to do in that lab. And you're going to type select, excuse me, my tape typing is something pretty abysmal, star which is a blind query it's going to retrieve all the data select star from artist now you're going to notice that uh, there's some autocomplete features within the tool also you're going to notice that uh, SQL is not case sensitive however it's a good practice to start getting used to seeing the commands uh, the reserved words in caps and then you'll notice that they'll be uh, highlighted in blue once you have those uh, that particular select statement ending with a semicolon um, typed in there, you can come up here to the left, click the word execute. That will then produce this particular data down here in the in the grid. Now the results can appear in this table, or if you look up here in your uh, navigation bar, you can also change it to text. I click on the text icon. I move my cursor back down to where the command was. Click execute. And I get a set of data down here in the grid that looks slightly different. I could actually then highlight that, right click, copy, and paste that into my Word document, which is what you're going to be turning in for your homework assignment. I hope this helps. You'll be seeing a few more of these as we go along.